issue for Gemini, please? What's the issue, please? What's the issue for Gemini? Okay, so something really flew there. Retrieve it. I like it when that happens because you can be certain that it's the issue. Oh, okay. Oops. So we could it could be an Aquarius, okay. It could be someone an Aquarius that's younger than you. Um it, it you know, it could be anybody that you're keeping an eye on, really. We have the page of voices. Generally, um so this would be I'm gonna clarify, okay? Um I'm going to ask the Muse deck to clarify, um, and then I'll go to another deck if we can't get it. Page of Voices as an issue, please. What is the Page of Voices as an issue, please? Try again. What is the Page of Voices as an issue, please? We may already have it then. Um, all right, let's just leave it at this. So uh, this could be an Aquarius. It could just be some someone that you have your eye on someone that you're curious about. It could be somebody um, who's, who has their eye, a sharp eye on you, who's watching you, someone who is very curious about you. Okay. Um, what is the challenge, please, for Gemini? What is the challenge for Gemini, please? Okay. I feel like this is related and this is. All right. And that may be. All right. Let's look at the challenge. <clears throat> It could, it's definitely a soulmate. All right. Wow. Um, or it could be, a, if it isn't, a, it, I feel like there's soulmate energy here, but it could also be um, reuniting. The challenge could be reuniting with this person. Okay. You know, the light is just too bright. The second Gemini. Um, the challenge could also be a Capricorn. Because um, I see the page of materials there. Um, or starting a new cycle that leads to something stable. Okay. Um, we have the, the page of materials here. That's generally Capricorn energy. Now, what is this? Temperance. Yeah. So I feel like the challenge is making this work. Okay. So a new, it, it's either coming together. I, I feel like it's coming together, coming back together with a soulmate. Um, there's Scorpionic energy, Capricorn energy, and Sagittarius energy there. There's Aquarius energy there. But in general, if you don't like looking at the signs in general, I think what this is about is somebody that you're keeping an eye on, okay? Um, you're genuinely curious about this person. Um, I feel like I, I, <clears throat> they, they are more interesting to you now than they were before. Um, they may have pleasantly surprised you. I feel like um, you want to start a new cycle with them, which is meant to go to something that is solid and committed. Um, and that the challenge is just making this come together. Um, how do we put this together? Because you may be very different from this other person. All right, Gemini, please. What's crowning the reading, please? Okay, this could be, all right. What is crowning the reading for Gemini, please? What is crowning the reading for Gemini, please? All right. This really is the end of a bad era, okay? It's over. It's all up from, from there, all right? Um, the four of voices is Jupiter in Libra. Um, but what it involves is somebody uh, having a realization through nothing but inward meditation, stillness, um, and gratitude. And while that happens, I mean, I... I think you can see the look on her face. She's so serene. Um, she gets this realization, this light comes on while she's still and meditating. And what this is, um, is, a, is a shift, an ending of one era and a, and a beautiful beginning of another. 
which goes right along with your um, Sun and Gemini card. However, I'm going to clarify what's occurring in the reading because these are very general um, messages that are coming across here. This is putting in work. It's detailed work. It may be repetitive, detailed work, but it's putting in work on something. So you may, somebody may have decided to put in work on a, oh wow, there's another card of Virgo. All right. So that is uh, Venus in Virgo. Okay, interesting. And realizing your worth, or someone has realized your worth. I'm just going to see if I can get one more card to clarify this. Uh, you know, like you may be inspired. Um, can we get one more card to bring these energies together for Gemini? Yeah, look, we're just... So this could very well be a Virgo. That's the Ten of Materials. So that is uh, Mercury and Virgo. Commitment. Um, just going to see if I can get something to flip. For other Geminis, or do we have another card that could explain what is going on up there? What do we have? I mean, these are beautiful cards up there. Um, one more card to bring this together. Running Gemini's reading. I feel like that's it. Yeah, okay, so this could very well be about bringing something to the next level, seeing the fruits of your labor. It's the three of inspiration, um, so that, I mean, it's in business, this would be um, a return, a massive return on, on work that you already put in. In love, it's bringing a relationship to another level. Let's just keep going. All right. What's nice is that, you know, up there is the end of a bad era and the beginning of everything beautiful and a successful transition into the beautiful phase, okay? What are the subconscious energies driving this reading, please? Subconscious energies. Okay, there, there it is. Oh, nice. Okay, this could very well be an earth sign. I mean, this is the night of materials, um, so uh, this is an offer coming then that is actually very stable and well worth waiting for. This is coming in to you, Gemini, okay? Um, all right, what's in the recent past, please? Recent past. Recent past, please, for Gemini. Alright, so in the recent past, we've got someone who came in very angrily, um, but what was behind it, um, I mean, they were angry and emotional, they wanted to come in fast, but what was behind it um, was an enormous amount of love for you, alright? See if I can uh, clarify that recent past with Star Tarot. Can we clarify the recent past for Gemini, please? What is this? Please, in Gemini's recent past. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this was fast incoming communication. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Um, it could have been from a Pisces, or it may just have been very confusing to you. But look at this. Um, this is the lovers. Okay, so this is one of your cards. Um, and it's also related to Virgo as well, all right? There may have been something between you that needed to be adjusted or moved um, in order for this to work. And that could very well be what, what was ended up there. Yes, someone may have had to become single um, in order to uh, come together with you, possibly. All right. Okay, let's look at what's coming up in the near future, please. It's coming up in the near future for Gemini. In the near future for Gemini, please. <laughs> I saw that a minute ago. All right, so this is, you know, it's, it's, 
energy of stealth, of planning, it, it can be um, someone who's, who's sneaky. It can be cheating. Um, we're definitely going to clarify this. It could be a, a cheater coming back. It could be the one that caused you that um, toxic cycle up there. Who is the seven of voices? Why is this coming up now, please? Um, and this person is could, <laughs> could possibly be a Pisces. If it isn't, it's a, it's a king. It's the muse of emotion. So this is a king who kept a lot of emotion in for too long. Um, you know, um, what I'm seeing, though, most definitely in the near future is somebody um, wanting to come back together with you. It could be an Aries because it's an emperor or a Pisces, but it's, it's a king, okay, who was very controlling and who um, didn't express emotion well. Look out because they're coming back in. They're going to sneak back in. That's what I feel like. All right. Um, what are Gemini's tools, please? What tools should they use to get to where they want to go? <laughs> Leave them out in the cold. No joke. Um, move away from them. Yep. And, uh, I, you know, I hate to say it, your advice is, is not to invest in, in anyone that puts you in a third-party situation. Um, to, in, to, um, I mean, there's Mercury in Aquarius, so part of that message um, is to, uh, it, that card speaks of literally plucking information out of the air. You use your um, intuition to get the information. Um, the five of materials energy may actually be telling you to have hope in a logical plan, but it may actually be a literal message that anybody who puts you, who caused you to restrict your heart like this, um, and that you should move away from them, six of voices, and kick them out, <laughs> you know, leave them out in the cold, the five materials. It, this is actually advice coming from the deck here to you. All right, what are the outside forces, please? What are the outside forces, please? What are the outside forces? Acting on the situation for Gemini. All right. Yeah, so Gemini, somebody feels very guilty about what they put you through. They feel guilty about destroying the relationship. They miss you. They regret their words, their actions. Um, they're stuck there thinking about the past. Um, they're, you know, they are actually in agony over what they did, okay, over the, over the, over the relationship with you that they ruined. That is exactly what that is, all right? Could be a Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be, but that, that's the energy that comes from that card. What are Gemini's hopes and our fears? May I have the stronger energy, please? May I have this? Uh, yeah, I, did, I just saw it. Your hope is a brand new start. Okay, a fresh start. That's the card of Alpha and Omega. Yeah, or it could be an Aquarius. But you actually, at this point, are willing to take a risk, take a leap of faith, um, take a jump. Um, because you want this um, fresh new start. You want things. You want to leave all the toxic stuff behind. And that is really good. I really feel like you're ready to let go. Um, and vacuum up <laughs> all the negativity and just get it out of your environment. You've already done it, it seems. The problem is they're coming back to you. <laughs> all right. All right. What's in the outcome, please, for Gemini? What's in the outcome, please, for Gemini? I just, I just want to show you what just happened a minute ago. <laughs> um, so sometimes when I take the group of cards, I turn it this way, one of the things that could be in the outcome, although I'll, I'll shuffle the cards and let the outcome flip, this is a king, a, a fire king, okay? Um, it, this person is very inspired to get up off his throne and come toward you. Anyway, um, we won't get the outcome through a split, though. We're going to get it through a jump. So what is the outcome for Gemini, please? What is the outcome for Gemini, please? Okay, so we got two cards. Oh, three. <clears throat> All right, we'll have to look at these carefully. Wow, this is the second time that this has come up for you. In the Star Tarot, this card came up as um, Nine of Pentacles, okay? So that is um, 
you know, you having money and just look how happy you look there. Yay. It's the nine of materials, nine of pentacles, same thing. So that's part of your outcome. That's wonderful. It's also people seeing your worth. Okay. What else do we have? Oh my goodness. Gemini. Wow. The lovers. So what, that is the second time that the lovers came out in your reading. Um, I don't think this is just your card now. But it is your, one of your major arcana cards, but it's clear that you're getting um, the true spiritual match. And look at this. Um, this person, when they come in, they come in single. Knight of Emotions. That's Knight of Cups. Could be a Scorpio, but in general. This Gemini, uh, this is the best reading I've seen in a month of Sundays. So um, in the end, you get everything that you want. You know, you're, you're feeling good, you're feeling worthy, you've got money that you made yourself, frankly. Um, you've got true spiritual love. And you've got somebody who's expressing it to you finally. Um, so, Gemini, this is incredible, all right? 